white. Take it and come home. Some wild emulies. Yeah, it's from the wild. As the name suggests, wild emulies. It's a wild beta fish which it's caught. And the bubble nest it is built is super, super. And the quality of the bubble nest is depends on the beta fish active now. The way that we have built this much of our list and look at the activeness which we find in the beta fish. It's hyperactive. So look at the hyperness in the beta fish. Look at that. Okay. So each beta will have its own kind of ovulus. It will be active or inactive. We can just judge by the bubble nest. Only the bubble nest you can judge. Not anything. In the wild also the same thing. Here also the same thing. You can judge the better with the bubble nest. Yes. When we are uh, cleaning the beta tanks, try to add almonds. Add in all the beta so as you can see here. I have added almond leaves. Here also I have added almond leaves right there. Whenever we clean or anything, whenever we clean the beta tanks, try to add almond leaf so that you know for the meal it's easy to be balanced. Almond leaf is there. I've kept the almond leaf there on the side and on top of that. So that's a good thing that when the meal
vast. I feed anything like pellets, blood worms, chimneys worms. But mostly he likes raw, very better food than um, pellets. So these two are the main thing that I focus on feeding him. All but I feed two fixed worms and everything. Yeah, I feed them two fixed worms. Thank you for watching. If you like more video, like, share, subscribe. Take a shot. Bye.